अरे यार तू तो अलग है मैं सोने जा रहा हूँ तो ईयरफोन तो मंगवा रहा खूब आज Good evening and welcome to GTVET. The World of Hopes and Possibilities by Centurion University. Next slide. Can we have the next slide please? You're being a part of this at the moment. And you're attending a demo session of our online English course with your coach, Sindhu Brown. Yes, that's right. Not just a course, but your, we will coach you. You see, many trends are there, but what about a coach? You see, the great achievers in the field of sports, athletics, fashion, in the field of IT, you don't find just mere trainers there. You find a coach. Now, what does a coach do? They take out that possibilities in you, the strength in you, and help you to help you drive towards your dream. How? All right. Now, first, we've got to have this little barrier that keeps cropping up in our head when it comes to English language. 
That's grammar. My, oh my God, my grammar ain't that good. Okay, so let's f- first clear this hurdle that keeps us from excelling in this most soft, sought after language, English. That will connect you globally. The next slide, please. All right, so let's start with this little exercise before we go ahead with what we have in store for you. Whoever said that grammar is boring? Okay, let's have this exercise. I want you to unmute yourself, whoever is going to participate. And I would like all of you to participate if it is possible. You need to describe your personality in one word, beginning with the first letter of your name. Like you can see on the slide in front of you, Barsha. We have brave Barsha. Now, brave describes Barsha. All right. Now, brave is nothing but what? What is brave and what is Barsha? I'll tell you once we finish up with any everybody participating. Okay. Another one example. Inder, intelligent Inder. Lakshmi, loving Lakshmi. Ravi, rare Ravi. So I would like you to come forward and tell one word. You know, describe your personality with the first letter of your name. Aishwarya, Aishwarya Pani, would you like to describe your your, your personality with the first letter of your name, Aishwarya? You can unmute yourself and please uh, participate. Uh Uh-huh. Who is this? I can't see your name. I can see OBC nine F O D O. So, what's your name? Uh huh. Anita, Ashok, Avinash, Balu, Barsha, Bupender Singh, Rahul Rao. Any one of you, we would like you to actually come forward and then you know probably start this game. Let me see who has got the guts to start this evening's program. Who will be the first participant in this game? Rahul. Rahul, would you like to describe your personality with the first letter of your name? Yes, ma'am. Should I tell with uh, D or R? Uh, you need to tell me what does D stand for. I think Rahul is your name. What do people call you? Uh, ma'am, people used to call me Rahul. Okay, so I think that's how you're recognized. So you please say something with the letter R. Rahul, ma'am. Hello. Okay, Rahul. Okay, so Rahul. So what does R describe your personality with? You you know, your personality has to describe uh, with the letter beginning with R, not just Rahul. Rahul is your name. Now you have, like, for example, you see on the board, Rare Ravi. So what does R stand for you according to you? Romeo Rahul. (laughs) Romeo, romantic Rahul. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, wow, good job, Rahul. I'm so happy you're the first person to participate and you've just broken the ice. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Let me see who will follow, who will be the next participant. Come on. Welcome, Rahul. Romantic Rahul. I'm going to keep calling you Romantic Rahul. You just broke the ice, you know. Sure, sure. (laughs) All right. Who else will be here? Who else would like to participate? See, this is a little interactive session. So if you participate, you're going to enjoy the session. Yeah? Yes, yes, they just winning. Yes, they just winning. What will be your the first letter? What would you like to describe yourself as? Uh-huh. Ma'am, my first letter is T. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what will you describe yourself as? I'm always thinking. You're a thinking Tejaswini, is it? Yes, ma'am. Oh my God. So we have thinking Tejaswini and we have romantic Rahul. Okay, fantastic. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Yes, who is it? Praveen. Kavir. Okay, Kavir, please tell me. It's Praveen. Okay. Please tell me your, your the word that describes you the best. Perfect, Praveen. Pamir. Your name is Pamir? Praveen. P-R-A-V-E-E-N. Praveen. P-R-A-V-E-E. So perfect, Praveen. Wow. I like the way you over you were overestimating yourself. Wow. That's like good. Really good. What about Aishwarya Pani? Aishwarya, you already have such a beautiful name. Why don't you tell more about yourself? Aishwarya, Anita, thank you so much. Perfect, Praveen. Thank you. 
Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Perfect, sir. Praveen. We have thinking Tejaswini. We have romantic Rahul. More boys are coming forward. What about the girls? Where are all my girls? There are so many girls I can see. Yeah. Ma'am, shall I? Yes, please. Nabila. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Nabila. Uh, yes, ma'am. It's Nabila. Starting okay. from N. Okay. Uh, noble. I can say noble as my name's meaning is somewhat okay. similar with that. So okay, noble fantastic. Natural. Oh, noble natural. You. Okay. So you, you're going to double credit yourself by saying naturally noble Nabila, is it? <laughs> yeah? Something yeah, like yeah. that. Naturally yeah. noble Nabila. Yes, somewhat. Oh, wow. Somewhat. Okay. Yes, <laughs> you need to believe what you're saying. <laughs> If not, then just say nice Nabila if you're not novel. Yeah, great. But the more you say it, the more it happens. Great. What about Aishwarya? Aishwarya, thank you so much. Thank you, naturally noble Nabila. Very nice. Nice to see you. Thank great. you, ma'am. Welcome. You, ma Aishwarya, I'm going on calling Aishwarya. Aishwarya is not there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Aishwarya. Please tell Good me. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, my dear. Can you please tell me about yourself in one word? Describe your personality in one word. Mm. I'm amazing. Amazing Aishwarya. Wow. That's very nice. Amazing Aishwarya. Great. Yes, Oshin. Come on. Yes, yes, Oshin. So you can describe yourself with the first letter of your name. First letter on my name. Of mm. your name, yeah. Oh, Oshin, O-S-H-I-N. Oshin is your name. So something that describes your personality with the first letter. Uh-huh. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Who is this? I'm here, ma'am. Dirbadal. Dirbadal. Yes, Dirbadal. Yes, you can please tell me the first letter of your name. Dreamy Dirbadal, ma'am. Dreamy, not yes, there, not. <laughs> nice to see you here. What about Ocean? Outstanding Ocean. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma <laughs> for another name. <laughs> yes. Do you remember, ma'am? Of course. Yes, Outstanding Ocean. Yeah, I remember. I, I seldom forget. Great. Okay, so anybody else want to pa participate? Avinash, Babula, Ashok Prabhakar, Arya, Anita Patel. Yes, ma'am. Ashok Prabhakar, would you like to participate, please? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, my first letter, my first letter is also A. Okay. So please describe uh, your personality with the first letter, beginning with the first letter of A. Angry Ashok. Huh? Angry Ashok. Why angry? Why not something positive? Amazing Ashok. Amazing. Awesome, yeah, Ashok. Awesome. Why angry? Yes. yes. So let's make it awesome, Ashok. Yeah? Ma'am, ocean. O C E A N. Oceanic ocean. Okay. I was thinking of that too, you know. Oceanic <laughs> ocean. Yeah. Oceanic ocean. Not merely outstanding. Oceanic ocean. Very good. Very good. So you're you're like, you know, as deep as the ocean, and I'm mean, like. Yeah, it, it quenches everybody's thirst. They all like to go to the ocean. So, wow, it's very nice to describe yourself as an ocean, not just a bindu, like, you know, a drop of water. Thank you. An ocean. Welcome. Great. So that's about a little bit. Person, man. Huh? What did you say? Who said what? Okay, who is this? I say she's a lucky person. She's a lucky person. Yes, we are lucky. Yes, we are all lucky. Great. So let's... Um, Let's move on to the next slide and let's see, now that you have broken the ice about knowing that, you know, in grammar is not all that boring. It is something that we use in our everyday life. You just used a noun, that's your name, it's a proper noun, and the personality that you described is nothing but an adjective. So we just played around without actually telling, okay, today we are going to learn grammar and we're going to teach you the eight parts of speech. No, we just made you understand the importance open. of learning this in a very playful manner, all right? So, 
Let's do a little bit of self-assessment by doing uh, the tongue twisters. We do a tongue twister. The next slide shows a little bit about the tongue twister. <clears throat> okay? It's nothing but twisting your tongue in a manner that will help you to gauge or measure your ability to speak this language. All right. So you can see we are just showcased one that is red lorry, yellow lorry. So before you unmute and tell us, you have to actually practice saying it loudly to yourself, a little aloud. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry. Red roll, uh, lorry, yellow roll, lorry. Yeah. Yes, ocean, but you have to say it at least five times. Oh. Oceanic. Red lorry, yellow lorry, 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 red lorry, yellow lorry. You know, you have to say it fast. You have to say it fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Okay, you need to say that faster. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red, red lorry, lorry, yellow lorry, lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Fantastic! My goodness, that was good. But can you go a little faster? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Anybody else would like to try? Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Good, 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 good. Very good. What about um? Why are the others not? Bupender Singh is here. Ra uh, Rahul, why are you? Ma'am, I will do. Yeah, please. You're most welcome to do. Yeah, Ra uh -huh. Jyoti. Jyoti. Uh, Jyoti. Good evening, ma'am. Huh? Who is this? Jyoti, is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Jyoti. Say, say, say. Please, I want to hear you say that. Jyoti, what happened? I'm waiting to hear you. You cannot take such a long time. Others are waiting. Yeah, Rahul, come on, you say. I'm, I'm Tejashwini, I'll do it. Okay, Tejashwini, come on, say. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, yeah, red lorry, yellow lorry. Okay. You're reading. You have to say it fast. You have to say, yeah, you have to say it faster. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah. Can I speak? One second. Let her uh, finish. Let they just finish. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry. Okay, very good. Okay, Rahul, who is that who wanted to say? Please say. We'll go to do some more. You know, some more tongue twisters are the least right. Yeah. Who is this? Shantanu. Yes, uh, can I speak? Yeah, please. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Okay, very good. One more person, one more person will say, Rahul, please say. Romantic Rahul. Red, uh, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lo lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, you have to say it a little bit Hello. more faster, romantic. Yes, who is Hello. this? Bimal Sahu? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you want to try it, is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you want to try this or you want to try the next uh, next trunk? No, ma'am, this, 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 this. Okay, okay, please say it. Yes, ma'am. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> You're saying lorry, lorry, lorry. <laughs> you have to roll your ra, okay? Quite. Okay, fantastic. Can we have one more slide? The next upper roller, lower roller, upper roller, lower roller, upper roller, lower roller, upper roller, lower roller. Yeah, who is going to say this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say this. I want somebody new to take. I want somebody else who didn't participate to take part. Harpriya, Harpriya Nayak. Harpriya Nayak, come on. Why don't you unmute yourself and speak? Or Jitendra Kumar, Jyoti Sindhu, Sindhu, Jyoti, Jyoti Sindhu. Lakshman, Monu Kumar, Mukesh, uh, Mukesh Arya, Mukesh, Mukesh, Mukesh Arya, three Mukesh we have here. Neha Bora, Pavan Thepe, okay. Sai Priya, I want somebody else. Shall I say? Who is this? Mama Nabila. Nabila, mm, can we wait for somebody else to say? Nabila, yes, let's, yeah, let's wait. Somebody else who didn't participate to take forward, come forward. Yeah, who else is this? Uh huh. Somebody who didn't participate to come forward. Vivo, Vivo, yeah, Vivo Wi Fi. 
please participate. Uh huh. Yeah, anybody. I, the ones who participated, I want the others to participate. We are the same people who participated to be no Ma'am, can I say? Sandeep, yes, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Uh, Upper roller, lawyer roller, upper roller, lawyer roller, upper roller, lawyer roller, upper roller, lawyer roller, upper roller, lawyer Okay. Upper roller, lawyer roller. I think. See, 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 see. You have to say it slowly, but you have to say it loud. You have to say it fast, but you have to say it right. Okay. So it's not just how fast you say them, but how clearly. Clearly, you say them too, you know. So you need to be fast. You have to be correct. You have to be loud, and you have to be absolutely clear in terms of your pronunciation. So say, say that. Yeah, somebody else. Jitender, come on. You have not participated. Come on, Jitender. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. For roller, lower roller. <laughs> Jyoti. Babalu Kumar. Jyoti. Yeah, Babalu Kumar. Please say upper roller, lower roller. Upper roller, upper roller, lower roller. Upper upper roller, lower roller. Upper roller, lower roller. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Very good. Saurabh Kumar. Saurabh. Saurabh, come on. You try now. Saurabh. Anybody else would like to participate? Yes, ma'am. Jitendra Kumar. Jitendra. Okay, yes, Jitendra. Yeah. Say it. Uh, Say it with all of you. Upper roller, lower roller. Upper lower, lower roller. Upper uh -huh. lower, lower roller. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Let's try another. Somebody, any other one person? Another one person. <laughs> Another one person, another one person, and then I'll show you another one. We'll take you to a little bit more difficult one. Yeah, come on, come on. Can I speak? Yes. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, 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 please. Can I speak? Yes. Upper roller, lower roller, upper roller, lower roller, upper roller, roller, lower roller, upper roller, roller, upper roller, roller. Good, very good. But can you say it a little faster, Shantanu? Shantanu, can you say it a little faster? Yes, ma'am. Upper roller, lower roller. Uh huh. Yes, ma'am. Upper roller, lower roller. Upper roller, lower roller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upper roller. Roller, 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 roller. Upper roller, roller, lower roller, upper roll, roller, roll, lower roller, upper lower, roller, lower roller, upper lower roller, lower roller, roller. Okay, good, good job, good job, Shantanu. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Next Thank one is well. a little bit more. Welcome, welcome, Shantanu. Thanks for participating. The next one. This is a little bit more difficult, so I want somebody else who has not participated to come forward and participate. Which wrist watches are Swiss wrist watches? Which wrist watches are Swiss wrist watches? What was it? Wow, 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 sound. Yeah, what come on. Who will do this? Anita. I'm going on calling okay. Anita. We have 76 participants here, and I have only six actively participating. This is for all of you. Anybody can come in and. Come and do. Who is this? I? Who is this? I? Yeah, yeah. Please say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Who is saying this? Bimal Sahu. Come on, Bimal. Which wrist watches and switch wrist watches. Okay, one more time. Wrist watches and switch wrist watches. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, Nabila has been waiting some time. Nabila, I think you can take a turn now, please. Can I speak, ma'am? Yes. Who is this? Who is this? Shantanu, you'll have to wait for your turn. Let's let's okay, okay, okay. okay, yeah. I want everybody else to participate. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Which wrist watches are watches are Swiss wrist watches? Which wrist watches are Swiss wrist watches? Wrist watches. Which wrist watches are Swiss wrist watches? Which wrist watches are Swiss wrist watches? Wrist watches. Okay, good job. Very good job. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, please. 
Who wants to speak now? Tejaswini. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I just wanted to try. Yes, okay. please don't try. Just do it. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Which wrist watches are Swiss wrist watches? 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 Oh, fantastic! Wow. Very good. Thank you, Very good. One more person, and we go to the next slide. One more person. Good evening, ma'am. Ma'am, yes? may I speak? Who is this? Tejaswini. No. Who is this? What's your name? Jyoti. Jyoti Sidhu. Who is speaking? Um, okay. Please, 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 please. Ma'am, ma'am. Okay. Um, please, please. Which is what? Which is Which is what? Which is which is to watch sir swiss is fantastic fantastic okay now let's go to the next next slide we have one more slide yeah sandro i'm sandro ma'am sandro i'll give you the next slide okay let's move on to the next okay, okay, slide yeah yeah this one is for you shantanu start i slit the sheet the sheet i slit and on the slitted sheet i sit i sleep i sleep i sleep i sleep the sheet i sleep the plate are bad on the slitted sheet i sit i slit the sheet the sheet i sh the sheet i'll slit and on the slitted sheet i sit okay good so slit means cut okay you tear you tear hi uh, this is samir okay samir yeah hi, uh, i i slit the sheet the sheet i slit and on the slitted sheet i sit i Fantastic. i slit the sheet the sheet i slit and on the slitted sheet i sit very good can you say it a little faster please I sl I slit the sheet the sheet I slit and on the slit uh, sheet I sit. Fantastic, Samir. Good job. Uh, very Thank good. You. Okay, you. somebody else. Anybody else can? Uh, Ma'am, may I speak? Ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I slit the sheet the sheet I slit and on the slit sheet I sit. I slit the sheet the sheet I slit and on the sit sheet I sit. <laughs> okay, one more person and we go to the last uh, tongue twister for this evening. One more person. Who will come forward, please? It's open to everybody. Yes, I'm not restricted. Yes, please. We slit the sheet. The sheet. I slit and on the slitted sheet I sit. I slit the sheet. The sheet I slit and on the slitted sheet I sit. I sit. Slit the sheet. The sheet I slit and on the slitted sheet I sit. Fantastic. Very good. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Next slide. We'll go to the last slide for this evening. This is the last one for this evening. So it's supposed to be the most uh, difficult tongue twister as per the you know the Guinness Book of World Records. It's called as a six six shake six sheep sick. So who is going to say this? I, I want somebody who has not participated to come forward. Sir Gowda, I'm going to say this. The six six. Oceanic, Oceanic, Ocean. Yes, please. Yes, 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 please say. I'm going to call out the names and uh, you will participate after you. Yeah, the sixth, six shake, six sheep. The six, six, the six, the six, the six, the six, 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 the six six shakes, six sheep sick. The six six shakes, six sheep sick. Yeah. The six the six shakes, the six sheep sick. Ah, Pavan, Pavan, very good, Pavan, very good. The six six, the six 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 sleep sick. Okay, very good, Ashok. You're a new participant. Fantastic. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. I'll try. Okay. The six, 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 six. Good. Very good. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Shall I try? Yes, 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 yes. The six, 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 six sheep, six. Fantastic. Thank you all yes. so yes. much. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Can I speak, ma'am? Yes, please, please. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Six, 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 and six, six, six. No, fantastic. Good job. Yeah, very Thank good. You. Welcome. One last Can person. Can I speak, ma'am? Yes, yes, yes. Last. The, the last. six, 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 six. 
Oh, fantastic. Very good. So Thank now you, let's move on. Okay, now let's move on to the next slide. Okay, now let's, ass uh, now that we have assessed ourselves, okay, uh, let's, we've just checked where we stand in terms of our language. So all we need is a little bit more practice. Okay, we just, we just understood whether we are comfortable, we are doing well, or we need more exposure. You just assessed it. I never told you anything. I just gave you something and you did nothing but participate. So you are the one, you know, where you need to improvise. Are you fluent? Are you okay? Are you not okay? I, okay, I know, I think doing fantastic, you know? So you are the master of your own assessment. Nobody is telling you. All I did was give you a platform and you perform, all right? So, you know, there's, um, uh, you know that, you definitely need a coach to guide you towards your dream. So you already have those skill sets with you, okay? Uh, you already have those skill sets and you already have those um, uh, positive things, but everybody keeps telling you, uh-oh, you know, you're not good. They only keep uh, uh, projecting your negativity and they keep putting you down, all right? But here we build up on your strengths and skills and they help you to achieve you towards, drive you towards your dream all right now now you must be my wondering, voice is you. uh sorry say that again all right now why and uh, why do we need all this now we, we must be thinking we are good enough you're doing okay we can get help from the internet or oh, you know these are already available on the net okay fantastic but don't you think that you'll need someone to coach you personally towards your dreams and your uh, mission of course if you think you're doing just fine okay enough if you think that no i need to get up faster and be there then you'll see how we'll help you no not just help you we'll be there to make you do exactly what you want to do as if it's already happening in your life okay so let's begin with this self-introduction the same old questions tell me something about yourself your name your family imagine just imagine the interviewer is going to ask the same question to hundreds of you job my name is Adia. Okay. Miss, my name is Adia. Sorry? Uh, Satya, you can mute everybody. Uh, uh, I'll ask to unmute if there's something that we need to talk. Yes? Thank you. So, you know, uh, we they keep asking hundreds of job applicants, tell me something about yourself. You know, tell me about your family. Tell me what your hobbies and all. Hello, that. hello, good evening, ma'am. Yeah, who is this? Tinku. Tinku, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, this is first class, ma'am. Yeah, this is a demo class only, a sample class. If you like it, we'll, you know, I'll take, I'll talk to you personally. Okay, Tinku. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ma'am, yeah. ma'am, every day class. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll give you the details later. No, just listen to this now, please, Tinku. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just be with me and listen to me, and I'll take you through. Towards the end, you can ask all your doubts, and we'll be able to help you and clarify with this. Okay. Right. Oh. So you know, we have something to tell. Most of the interviewers, you apply for the same job. You see, there is a uh, there is a job that is. Uh, good opened evening. Up in... Yes. Good evening. Who is this? Aditya, I'll go, I'll talk to you at the end. We'll talk later. I just need to give uh, a little bit of brief about why you're here and how we can help you. And then I'll ask you questions, Aditya, so you can mute yourself. Okay, mute yourself and then uh, we'll talk. Okay, okay. <laughs> so most, most of the interviewers, what they do is they will, uh, they keep asking, tell me something about yourself. You all will apply for the same job. Thousands of people will be applying. But how will you stand apart? Now, the way you answer these questions, the way you will stand out, the way you'll project yourself, okay, that makes a difference. Most of them will start. Myself, Sindhu Brown, I'm from Bengaluru. My father's name is this. My mother's name is this. Come on. You need to say something else that's not there in your resume already. You understand? During an interview, there are basically two sets of questions that will be asked. One is generic. And other is based on your technical know-hows and skill sets. So you'll be having mock interviews to be yourself,
to make an impression on the minds of the interviewer to say it aloud to them that your communication is the best, your body language and your gestures are simply outstanding and you can be the brand ambassador of their company. See, when an employer is hiring you, you need to understand they are not just hiring somebody to do a mere job. You speak about the company's mission, their vision, their goals and their, you know, and their uh, set parameters and you will be a person who will be carrying out the, the uh, company's role. When you belong to a company, you become the ambassador of that company. But are you fit enough? Are you equipped enough? Are you skilled enough? So we sharpen your skills to let them know, let the others know, and let the person who is hiring you to let you know, let them know that it is you and nobody else. So you need to be in that competitive level. All right. So let's go to the next slide and see how to crack any job interview. Satya, we'll go to the next slides. Yeah. So what... <clears throat> Basically, in a job interview, they're going to ask you, what are your greatest strengths, your biggest weakness? Why do you want to work in our company? Why should we hire you? What are you? What is the expectation? So everybody gives a standard answer. If you are by hearting your answers, that means to say you're not somebody who can think out of the box. They can ask not the same series of questions. They can, say, they can ask. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, Avinash. Ma'am, yes, please, previous slide, so Yeah, now you can see the slide. Yeah, okay. Avinash, you can see the slide, I suppose, now, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Thank you so much for confirming. All right, so when everybody will give the same kind of an answer, the interviewer also will become bored. But somebody who gives an out-of-the-box answer, you that person will be like, wow, this guy is different. He's somebody unique. Wow, this person really needs to get into the next round to see how they will perform. All right. So you just need to make sure that you will be able to crack any job interview and how we will guide you through our mock interviews. All right. Let's go on to the next slide. Let's see what. Well, how do you get selected? After this, what happens? Then you will be having a bigger round. That will be your group discussion round. Now, group discussion round. Quality go round easily with. All right, so you you need to not only know about what kind of a topic will come, you need to be aware of the you know the things that's happening around us. You should be updated with the latest news, not only about the latest news, but also about the subject knowledge. How can you lead? Be how can you be a leader in the group? You need to talk. You need to talk in a in a, to, relevant to the topic. You cannot just you know sideline them and just just speak for the sake of speaking. But to be a good speaker, you need to be a good listener. And when somebody is saying something, how do you politely, you know, answer back to them without hurting their feelings or emotions? We're using in the right kind of a body language, the right kind of phrases, the right kind of pitch, pause, pace, projection. You know, these are very important when you're speaking in a, in a group. You're really creating an impression. And the interviewer, the one who's going to hire you, is watching you. So the best one amongst the rest will be taken. And we make sure that you will be able to create an impression even in a large group. All right, so let's go on to the next slide. <clears throat> All right, so not only help you in terms of the group discussion, we'll help you to deliver that in style and be a leader in the group, be relevant to the topic and all that. Now, here are some eye-opening facts. India is definitely the largest, second largest graduate producers with 2.6 million people per year, you know, producing graduates. However, it is believed only 47% of this talent pool is hireable, okay? Now, let's go to the next slide, please. <clears throat> According to the CII, that's the Confederation of Indian Industry, that identified English language Ability has a key skill for Indian economic development. Here, poor English skills were providing a barrier to communication and thereby affecting economic growth. So if you speak and if you will earn money, it adds to the country's economy. So you see, you do make a difference. All right, let's go to the next um, uh, slide and see which, is the, which are the many top most, um, you know, which are the major languages spoken here in India, and which is the one which is the largest spoken. It's, of course, Hindi, but what follows Hindi is English, okay? But sadly, uh, only 10% of approximately about 10% Indians speak English. 
Everybody else speaks Hindi, of course, but English is something that you need to speak to be globally connected. Now, speaking just doesn't, uh, when, I, when we say about English course, it doesn't really mean only English in terms of your speaking. Speaking is a part of it. There are other four parameters of English language. That is your read, the, the four parameters of English language. That is reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Some people can write, they can't speak. Some people can read, they can't write. Some people can understand, they can't speak. You know, so different parameters of English language. So somebody is very good in writing. Somebody is very good in listening. Somebody is very good in reading. Somebody is very good in speaking. So not all of them need to be good in everything. You might be good at something, but what is required for you to be where you are supposed to be is, of course, you need to speak. All right. So let's go on to the next slide and <clears throat> understand. Out of this 10% of the population who speaks English, only 9% of the population here in this state speak good English. They can speak English very well in a conversant manner. Okay, so you to speak English is very, 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 very challenging so that you represent our ancient, you know, this very traditional states, Odisha, and make it into the topmost in the country. So your contribution, your skills, your presence, your personality, it would really speak volumes in the, in the history of India. So you can make a difference. Don't just think that, oh, you know, English, yeah, of course, I'm attending. No, you have to make sure that you make a difference to your state too. You become a brand ambassador of your state. You need to speak in a forum where there are a lot of people from all over the states coming together, but you emerge as somebody with the, the, the right skill sets. All right, so let's go to the next um, uh, slide. See, there are 90, 97% engineering graduates, but they cannot speak English fluently. So many of the graduates, what they do, instead of following their dreams, they become, they just start their own business or follow their father's uh, business or just become a mere employer, but not follow their dreams. All right, so uh, that's, that's a stage... See, 97 person, not one or two. That's a huge, that's a huge gap. All right. So you need to make a contribution by making sure, take a vow that no, I'm going to speak and I'm going to make a difference and I'm going to influence the people around me. All right. Let's go to the next uh, um, slide, please. Now, why does speaking in English really matter? Because it is indeed a truly a global language. All right. There are about 380 million native speakers. Over 400 million people use English vocabulary as their mother tongue. Okay. And over 700 million people speak English as a foreign language. And it is a lot of people are still learning English today, or the whole you know, worldwide, not just here in Orissa or India, but the whole world, except those people who are speaking native English speakers, English. There are a lot of other countries where they don't speak English and they are also learning English through various methodologies so that they can also be heard and their economy can go up high. So, you know, learning English is definitely the basic parameter for you to be globally connected. Okay, let's go on to the next uh, slide. And why should you need, uh, need to be coached? Mainly because we work on your individual strengths. Most of the interviews are done in English, yes. And we, as your coach, we focus on your strengths to help you face every challenging moment. May it be interviews or may it be meeting a person in a, in, a, in a social meeting or a gathering or in a conference, wherever you are, you know, you make an impression. Okay? And it's all done in English. Sadly, but truly, that's what it is that. And if you get the dream job, if you are there, what happens to you? Yeah, we make more money. In the next slide, we see see how the people who are um, who speak English can make more money. They're going places. They're visiting places because even the smallest of the smallest things you need to have English. Or you're traveling by train, or you're booking a hotel, or you're staying in a hotel. You're traveling to, or to the most famous tourist spot anywhere. Imagine, you know, you're thinking big. You're traveling. Maybe not today, not at the moment, but definitely in the future. You need to visualize yourself as if it is already happening. Okay, so you need to be communicative enough so that the other person will come forward and be able to understand what you're trying to say. So English is a common language that will help you to connect globally, go places, meet people, have fun, and establish your business and make a, a, you know, make a paradigm shift to yourself from where you were to where you are and where you can be with this language crossing the bridge, you know. 
All right. So you get um, you if you get that dream job, then you get more money, more recognition, more opportunities, and uh, you'll have a better luxurious life. So now let's go on to the next slide. Where if you do not, if see many of them up, come come and apply for jobs. Okay, many of them who are high school plus two graduation, graduation completed with good communication skills, all in the written format. But when it comes to actually speaking, very few of them. So you. You see yourself where you are from 100% to one of the unique ones. So it really, it doesn't matter where you come from, but where you go really matters. Even, you know, for example, Land of Orissa is very famous for Lord Jagannath. And you know what is Lord Jagannath's fam famous and the most favorite flower? It's, uh, if I'm right, it's lotus, yeah? Am I right? Okay, now you, it doesn't matter where the lotus comes from, okay? But where it goes, where you go matters. So it doesn't matter where you come from, but where you go really matters. Everybody, you know, they offer, besides Tulsi flower that is offered to Lord Jagannath is of course, you know, is uh, referred to as lotus. So lotus comes from a where? What, you think it comes from a clean pond? No, it doesn't matter your background, whether you're coming from a poor background or, you know, a family where you know, it's all disturbed and no support, nothing. It doesn't matter where you come from, but where you go, you need to dream, you need to achieve it. How, how you can achieve it, that really matters. All right, so it doesn't matter where you come from. It matters where you are today. And from here, where do you want to go? Do you want to go back or you want to go ahead? You measure yourself, all right? So let's, uh, let's understand that you are, not only your resume makes the impression, but you make a difference, all right? So let's go on to the next uh, slide and then let you know that when your resume is selected and shortlisted amongst the others, when you speak, your self-confidence actually will become 100%. You'll be able to be efficiently portray what exactly you want. You can negotiate better. You can agree or disagree in a very polite manner. So you see the benefits of communication? This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Thank you, Shekha. All right, so your conference really varies in terms of the language's fluency, right? The, the next slide, can we go to the next slide? And then, so you're, when you're confident, it varies in terms of your fluency, your accuracy, and your complexity. You, how you can understand, how you can reciprocate in the right manner really makes a lot of a difference. All right, so. Can we go to the next slide and let you know? We will let you know the, the, the online courses that we are offering, okay? So we have different parameters to ensure that you get into the right group to be coached well and get that personalized attention. Yeah, you can be in any one of these course. Rest assured, your presence will definitely be marked. You can be in general English course of beginners or advanced level or professional English course where you get to enhance your skills about your specific workplace. It may be in the lab technician or a healthcare, electrical technician, retail and hospitality, motor vehicles technician, or sewing machine operator, everywhere English matters. So we have specified courses, curriculum, vocabulary, benefiting to that particular work sector where you know that these are the jargons or these are the phrases or these are the vocabulary that is required and enhance that in a practical and usable and a user-friendly manner. All right, so. Let's see how, how these courses are actually designed. Uh, can we see the next slide, please? You'll see that there is a sea change in your development in terms of your personality development is concerned, your communication skills, your presentation skills, your interview preparation, your personal grooming, and above all, you'll be able to speak in a very formal manner, all right? So personality development, how exactly you can portray yourself, communication skills, what exactly you need to say, presentation skills. You are a product. There are many products like you. Like when you go to a, uh, you know, when you go to a supermarket, people pick uh, what is the best, okay? So how do you market yourself as the best product amongst the others who are there in the line? So how do you present yourself? Interview preparation. Do not give answers that are monotonous or boring or everybody will give it be different, be unique and be yourself. Personal grooming, what to wear, how to wear, and how to carry yourself will also be taught during these, these sessions. 
so that you can enhance. If you're doing it in a particular manner, we guide you to make sure that you enhance your personal grooming so that the person who is there in front of you will feel, okay, this is a pleasant person and this person uh, makes a, a lot of difference, you know. So when I say personal grooming, it's not just your physical appearances, but actually your attitude towards that situation. All right, last but definitely not the least, improves your business communication skills. So right, you can't use the same words everywhere. There's formal English, there's informal English, there's English language that you use amongst your peers and colleagues and you know, in a business environment when you're actually doing a, a session or a presentation session or attending a, um, a conference or you're having a conference call with a delegate who is visiting your center you become the ambassador for, you know, representing your company. So all these really has a different jargon. So what are the right words and right phrases and the right uh, uh, sentences to use in such a situation? That really matters. All right, now let's go on to the next slide. Now, how this course will benefit you? I think at the end of the day, everybody wants to know how we will be benefited. What will I get? Okay, ma'am, I'm ready to join. What will I get? Everybody, if you're giving, you know, if you'll, uh, it's just like there are so many courses happening everywhere, but how do I benefit? There are so many people telling, okay, you know, we will enhance, we will enhance. Yeah, but that's what I said. First and foremost, we're not going to train you. We're going to coach you. So that itself makes you to feel that you're going to be in the right hands, guiding you in the right direction to help you achieve the dream that you've been looking for, all right? So you'll be able to speak English fluently and you'll be able to excel in your career in a very simple and practical techniques like the ones we just did today. You know, the, in, the sessions that we did today were very uh, user-friendly. There's are applicable, you know, the even the red lorry, yellow lorry that you learned today, I'm sure and I can take a bet you've never done it in your whole life till now. Am I right or wrong? Yes, I'm sure. I'm like, I... I am just boasting myself that I know this this much, that no trainers would actually tell you English is such a lovely language and you can just speak it in different manners. You don't have to be like, how are you? I am fine. Thank you. Who are you? Where are you from? No, it can be like, you know, hey, listen, I learned this today, so I want to use it. You can actually practice it and you can feel, wow, I'm having fun with this language. All right. The tongue twisters that you just, you know, you just had a... Um, a glimpse of today's session that itself proves you that you will be able to measure yourself in a very practical and easy and effortless manner to say that, wow, this is nice. And you know, when you do it in front of your friends, even when you're having a mere cup of coffee, even you're in a, in a coffee shop or when you're sitting with your friends, hey, 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 okay, now you say, you say, you know, like you can just ask them to see and you can challenge them. Okay, say red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. It's absolutely fun filling and people will be actually glued to you and then like a magnet, they get attracted to you and you can create an impression. Yeah, this is what I learned. So we all, we, we give you such kind of a techniques where we not only let you to use it, but also spread it in a very confident manner. The others will feel that you are actually doing something which you're very proud of, you know? So this course will really benefit you. It will help you to fix your basic common errors that you do while you're speaking in the class. Like, for example, today you just participated, but in, this, in our class, it's actually practical classes. The trainers do give you the, the platform, and we ask you one, on, one, one by one to speak, and you can be at different levels. We also help you in terms of your pronunciation. Now, it doesn't matter that you can speak English. Many people speak English, but speaking it in the right manner, with the right kind of a pronunciation, in the right diction, now that really makes a lot of a difference, all right? So we help you to develop your communication skills to impress the others, maybe personal, social, or your professional life. You can also improve your articulation. Now, articulation is very important. It doesn't matter what you say, but how you say you know, what you can say whatever you want, but how you say is very important. So we let you say no politely. You can also say no politely. How do we let you do this? We have activities in terms of reading sentences, pitch, pause, pace, projection. We have paragraph reading. We have presentation skills. All right. Then we have uh, different activities in every class so that you'll be able to benefit yourself you'll be able to benefit yourself and understand that, yeah, yeah, this is really helping me. It is guiding me and it is motivating me. All right. And it, okay, now the best part of English language is not just speaking. You need to listen. We help you to understand the importance of listening. So you, you listen to your peers, you listen to the persons who is participating and you know how different and how right they are. So you become the judge here. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And uh, we, you'll also be able to understand that, okay, this is the right way of speaking English. It can be in, on, at, over, under. It is very simple, in, on, at. So which, which is the right phrase to use? All right, and you will be able to speak in a very effortless manner. You'll be able to express in a beautiful manner and you'll be able to gain a lot of confidence and you'll be able to speak very clearly and very confidently. So that's what we absolutely do here. And, um, but last but not the least, definitely, I would like to let you know that we're really thankful to each one of you for having participated here. We're going to start this course soon. And we will, we would like you all to be here with us. Anybody wants to ask us any questions? Can we go to the next slide, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much for being here with us. Uh, the, the, the course begins on 2nd of November, Satya. The last slide says... All right, so we take limited uh, seats here because we pay a lot of attention. Individual attention is given to everybody. So you know, we take limited numbers in each batch. And believe me or not, you might, uh, the money that you will be paying is guaranteed that you'll get 10, 10 or 100 times better than what you will be just paying. Uh, you, if you see, you know, you eat two, uh, 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 two or three chicken, bur chicken burger or chicken biryani, it's three, you know, 700, 800, and then it's, it's just for a moment. But if you hear you're investing, and this course will enhance you for your life. So you need to try it, to believe it, and to make sure that your friends also enrolls it once you join. All right? So this is just a real simple sample example of a demo class to let you know what's in store for you. The opportunities of, for you to enhance the skills is unbelievable. And you can measure yourself, and you can see where you are today and where you will be within the next 30 hours. It's a 30 days, uh, it's a 30 hours course. And we're going to start on the 2nd November. And it's just 1,000 rupees. We're just charging you. It's a, it's the inaugural offer. All right. So um, I would like you all to hurry up and you can call us up and book your seats. It's definitely first come first serve. And we, you know, we'll tell you which one is the best one for you, whether it is advanced or basics. All right. Anybody has any questions? You're most welcome to ask me yes uh, amit you had some questions you you had quite a few questions to ask anybody wants to ask any question hello ma'am yeah. ma'am yes. mm. can i ask any question related to this yes ma'am how to develop communication skill power uh, we give, uh, you know, the tongue twisters that I just gave you right now, we make you practice that, okay? Then every day, there is something called a sight words. We make you build up sentences. We'll guide you if you're using the right kind of sentences and if it is grammatically correct. So we help you and guide you. So uh, if you're in the basic level, you'll also be made to understand the importance of the sound, how exactly each and every article. See, English has only 26 letters. Okay, Tinku? English has only 26 letters or alphabets, but there are 44 sounds. Somebody who comes from a non-English speaking background, they will not understand the difference between um, if, if it is C for cell phone or C for call. Okay, so how will we make other difference? So you will be able to understand all this in a very phonetic manner. So we teach you phonetics. Once we teach you phonetics, we teach you grammar, basic grammar, Tinku. In the basic grammar, we'll give you words like have, want, would, okay? How to use it. So there'll be, part. Uh, you will be participating, we'll give you the words and you make sentences and we'll let you know if it's correct or not. Yes, thank you. Do you have something to ask? Ma'am, what will be the time of, uh, of the session? Well, uh, it will definitely be in the evenings. It will definitely be in the evenings yeah, and uh, uh, yeah. Because most of them are working people, so that's yes, why we are, we are working person, so I just trying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's going to be in the evenings. Uh, what is the right time, ma'am? Just trying. Oh, what's the right time? I think there'll be a choice that will be given to you, so you don't have to worry. If you're interested, just question. You know, just call up on this number seven zero seven 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 two eight three zero. Just call up on this number. Or you can send a message if that busy, the phone is busy. You can send a message and definitely they'll reply to you without any difficulty. They'll be able to help you. Yeah, they just so I'm waiting for you to be there. 
Yes, anybody else wants to uh, uh, Nabila, so I hope you will be with me. Yes, Nabila. Nice, noble Nabila. Uh, ma'am, actually, uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, actually, I had some network problem when you were just discussing about the courses. So can you just tell me what is, uh, like in brief, uh, what, See, what we'll be divided. learning over there? Okay, okay. See, basically, the course is divided into basic and advanced level. All right. So we will be, we will be putting you into the basic. Or It's, again, about communication skills. So we focus corely, I mean, like, mainly into the communication skills pertaining to that particular um, yeah, we're showing you that slide. Thanks, thanks, Satya. The next slide. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, for uh, here. The online certified English courses we have in terms of um, healthcare or uh, in, uh, electrical, manufacturing, hospitality, motor, or sewing operations. So these are the basic uh, courses that we have where English will be pertaining to the industry that you will be working with. So once you get in, it will not be something new. Of course, we cover up the basics also in terms of your pronunciation, sentence structure, grammar. All this will be, you know, uh, given to you as a warm up, and then we go into the specialized courses. Okay, dear. So basically, for uh, interview preparation point of view, we'll be getting the training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'll tell you something. Interview, they're going to ask you two kinds of questions. One is generic, and one is skill sets. So skill sets, there will be no, uh, no. And the technology need, based. Yeah, yeah, the technically, the, it's technically based. Okay, so you need to know your know-hows. You cannot just go there and say, aha, I will come on job after that. I will, you know, try. No, you need to know your basics, at least prepare yourself. But the rest of the questions, how do you sell yourself? For example, if they, if they'll ask you a question, tell me something about yourself. Most of them, believe me or not, when I interview people, I, I've heard them opening up the sentence saying, myself, Sindhu Brown. And that's so incorrect. Okay, you That's have to. Wrong. Yeah, it shouldn't yeah. be my thing. See, you basically need to speak what is not there in the resume. In the resume, your father, mother, your name, everything is there. Other than if they'll address you by your name, you need to know. If the interviewer is addressing you by your name, no point in your name. If the interviewer is just tell, asking you to tell about yourself and grow, going through the resume, then you can say, "Sir, my name is Sindhu. I am Sindhu." And then don't just say I'm from Bangalore, my, my father's name, okay? You have to be different in terms of your answering skills. Ma'am, I have a question. Okay, so interview will... Yes, okay, yes, thank you. yes, Tejashwini, welcome. Uh, Ma'am, as I am a working person, so I just wanted to develop my English uh, and utilize my English uh, in business area. So, uh, can I get knowledge about this? Okay, now when you talk about business area, definitely you will be using phrases and uh, certain uh -huh. jargons that right. is specifically used. So we will be telling you uh, what exactly they mean. Yes, so that will come in the advanced level, of course. And besides that, okay, Tejashwini, there is something more important in terms of the pitch, pace, pause, and projection. Okay, so how it's, it really doesn't matter what you're saying, but how you say it, how exactly you need to, even in an official environment, you will be using jargons and phrases, which is common to commonly applicable to all. You know, so we enhance you to develop your vocabulary and how to develop your vocabulary also, there is a session on terms of that. Right. So you don't have to worry. Yeah, the best thing is like, I'll tell you the simple example, Tejashwini. Okay, very okay, simple. Let's not go for high funder words. The very simple example, when do you use the and the Tejashwini? Can you tell me that? Basic, let's not go to business English and all that. Yeah. Ma'am, you are not audible. Hello? Yeah, can I audible now? Ah, yeah, ma'am. Okay, Tejashwini, let's not go to like, you know, very high level of English and all those things. Just give me one simple example. When do you use the or the? You must have heard people say that. In the a particular the. location or... Uh, exactly. Yeah. So we tell you these things in the classes to make sure... Yes, ma'am. So make sure that, you know, you use it in the right manner. We use the before articles. We use the before yes, consonants. Okay. Yes, the, the end, the beginning and things like that. So it's basic that. Basic, if you get it straight, you'll be able to, you know, upscale yourself. Yes. In okay. Wait, so... Uh, we have the tomorrow will be a start with 
Last second. Uh, five. Uh, tomorrow is a Sunday. We're going yeah. to start this. Uh, yeah, we are going to start Tinku. We are going yeah, to start Tinku. Second November. Second November Tinku. Yes, so this is yeah. You can call up on this number seven zero seven 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 two eight three zero. Call up on this number or leave a message, and uh, you can ask the rest of the questions. All right. You can see we are going to start the second. And it's only one thousand rupees, and you should grab this because nobody gives you so good, so good, such a good coach class. And, uh, yeah, and it's only for thirty hours. Yeah. All right. Wow. All right. Thank you all so much. Thank you for being here with us this evening. So why are you waiting? Please enroll. So we will remember Thank you, one thing. Yeah. Welcome. So. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Thank Welcome. You. Thank, Thank you so much for being here with us. Yep. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for participating. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.